City of Omaha is ramping up its efforts to address a lack of affordable housing. In the coming weeks, organizers will host virtual open houses to share research on the issue and get more feedback from you. KTV News Watch 7's Alexander Stone shares what this means for housing in Omaha. It's perfect for me. This is what I need. Katie Kufal has lived in her Dundee duplex for about a decade. She moved here because her kids were nearby, but the area itself has been a good reason to stay. Everybody's just very neighborly, and we have these three duplexes, and it's our own little community, so that's been really nice. This type of housing, like duplexes and townhomes, is a focal point for the Omaha Housing Affordability Action Plan. The city is working with RDG on the project. Amy Hazy says it's the result of state legislation aimed at expanding housing options. Specifically around what we call missing middle housing, that medium density, our triplexes or duplexes or um, basically multifamily structures that really have kind of a single family sort of feel and context to them. While this diversity of housing is often seen in older neighborhoods like Dundee, Hazy says the study is looking toward the future of newer neighborhoods. We have historically low vacancy rates within our rental properties. Uh, if you've tried to buy a home in the last 18 months, you're probably aware of the, num the, the shortage of for sale units. So there's this pent up demand. In terms of creating more inventory with a range of options, Hazy points to this development near Prairie Queen Lake. She says they're also talking to people about price points as part of the plan. Obviously, everybody is very concerned about the cost of housing. Hazy says there's a growing awareness of the housing shortage and costs. The plan aiming to make sure there's safe, affordable housing for all. How do we make sure that we have housing for every stage of life? Now, Hazy says state law requires this plan be complete by the end of the year. We'll link to the website where you can find information on those virtual open houses. Hazy says the action plan should go to Omaha's City Council for approval in December.